Day 24 of our Nutcracker adventure. Today we have the final waltz and I'm gonna take this opportunity to talk about courtesies or bow or reverence in ballet class or the stage if we, for example, were dancing the whole Nutcracker dance in front of the audience. Boys will stand either parallel position or a comfortable turn out and they will stay either with both legs straight and the arms, head and torso are included or they can also slightly bend a little bit one leg and that's gonna be their bow. Now it depends the character or the dance that you were dancing, the arms will either do something related to the character that you just danced or simply up and down. Always upright position and never let your position to relax. Just a little bit Sing down, torso forward, and recover up. None of these. Okay? Now, girls generally will be in a classical pose. Let's do it now with arms on allongé. We will extend Batman Tandil to the side and transfer body weight to the other side. Classical pose, bend supporting knee, and exactly the same of the boys. Sing really tall and just a little bit of nodding with the head, yeah? So just slide it forward and up. Very elegant, keeping upright position the entire time. You will notice, hopefully, that every ballet class, when you finish your class, we will always do a reverence to sense the teacher for the time and for all the knowledge and everything they have done for us in that class and the entire time, actually. But if there's also a piano player, you will notice that we do the reverence first to the teacher because it's the number one in the classroom, but the piano player will also play a very important part of that. So we also want to thank them for their music and their time. Now, when we're talking about stage, the first thing that I want to say is that when the curtains are closing, because the dance finish or the ballet finish, we don't move. Even though we are in the corners and the curtain already passed me, we don't move. We stay there the entire time until the curtains is fully closed. That's very important. First, because it doesn't matter that I'm in this corner and the curtains already pass me, but there are people standing that can see you from the diagonal. Therefore, you don't move. And something else is we don't make any noise. We stay, the curtains close, and we very silently go away from the stage because the curtains are going to open again so we can go all inside slowly one by one to thanks to the audience for their applauses, right? So there are different levels. If you're from the corp um, dancing, in, let's say that we are the walls or the flowers, you wear the flowers, you are all the flowers going to come together and the arms and the reverence will be linked to some of the dance that you did or some of the movements that you did during that dance. Generally, the corp doesn't touch knee fully on the touch on the floor. It's very simple. It's a quick and simple reverence and goes immediately back to the stage. Because the soloist and the prima ballerina need their time also to come into the audience into the reverence. If there was just one girl doing alone her own variation, it would be quick and the arms would be according to the style. Let's say that there was just one boy doing the Russian dance, so that boy is going to do the reverence with the character and accent of the arms from the, the Russian dance. So that's what I mean by arms and the gestures that you do when you do the reverence goes related and linked to the dance that you did. Because for example, let's say that you were the Chinese dance, generally they dance like that with these movements, their reverence would be like that, or would be like this, and keep moving. Yeah, so you can relate to the character that they actually did during the dancing. Next, you will always notice how the girl is right in front and the boy is slightly on the back. Because always, the character of the boy is to present the girl to everyone and she's in front doing a very elegant and big reverence and this is the time to touch the floor with their knee. Now, 
the boy pick up the girl again. So he offered his hand, take her back. And if the audience is still really excited, really grateful for all the ballet that they have seen, the girl and the boy comes forward once again and shows again the grateful for all those applauses. However, there is one more. Where are the choreographer? Where are the teacher? Where are the, everyone who took the time to help us to do that ballet? They are also included in the reverence because we want to show everyone this is the choreographer. I know that I dance. I'm really thank you for your applauses. But thanks to him, we are all up here. And that person will also do a reverence very simple but it's really important. I hope that you like this. Now, let's use the last waltz to do simple improvisation with different reverence that we can do, okay? The first reverence, girls in classical pose are only going to do tandy, reverence, tandy, reverence. The second one is going to be tandy, fourth position, plie, tandy, stay, but mantan to the side, fifth position, classical pose, reverence up. Remember that you can always go back and check each of these reverence one by one before we do it with music. The boy is simply gonna stand in parallel or point separated and goes one, two, three, four. It's going to do step to the left side, right leg bent, arm to shoulder, head down, and stretch up. I want you, all of you for last reverence to imagine that you're one of these characters of the Nutcracker. Choose one. I don't want to know yet because I want you to post her anywhere in your Instagram, in your Facebook or even in YouTube. Just tag me. I want to see which one was your reverence. Okay? And you are going to add arms coordination according to your characters and you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six to your knee and up. Okay, boys, I want you to think about exactly the same, but I want you to take the time to look around and really appreciate it and use arms coordination according to your character. Now let's do it with music. <laughs> 